Well, now this is just strange. A green combine? What's that? And it's Sunday afternoon. So I have decided instead of going to my farm, going to spend the afternoon riding with Grant. And I have to say, I am pretty excited. And so he's raising the corn reel up and then the top is opening up here. I'm just waiting for a really, really big wind to come and blow all this junk off here. Hmm. It's packed a little too tightly, I guess. All right, Grant. So I have walked everybody through case controls. Oh, you have now. I have, yes. I want you, step by step, tell me how you start your John Deere combine. How do you start the combining process? Okay, first, there's a key. Wow. Can you turn the ignition. Okay, <laughs> skip through a few more steps. <laughs> okay, instead of a little lever for a throttle, I have buttons. Low idle, high idle, and running speed. Okay, with everything idled down, you click the separator and all the turny things back there. See the fans going, start blowing dust out? Okay. And then you can turn on the head. Speed everything up. And we're ready to go. Wow, simple as that. Okay. And then what do you push on your joystick? So this is well this is all like you can set up to whatever you want. But this is this is up, this is down, and this is a little more a little more up than down. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> okay. Alright. And you have auto steer in your combine, right? Auto steer and row sense. Wow. Tell me what row sense is. See these little these little whiskers down here? Those ones right there. Okay, yeah. What do those do? We got to, to turn it all on first. Okay, sorry, I won't distract you. So we're good. And so it just it uses GPS to get you lined up and then especially with this down corn I can't really see and so it feels where I need to go and steers the combine oh, around. That's handy. It's not working right now. So it does look like it is very difficult to see where the row is. Grant's corn head has had a corn reel attached to it. So that's this whole bar right here. But it is not down and running right now because this corn look like looks like it's standing pretty well. combine in a straight line but then he has row sense which is um, adjusting the combine's direction based on how leaned over the corn is and he's also turned on this performance optimization or harvest smart and so the combine is going as fast or as slow as it needs to to achieve optimal performance so it's maxing out the engine power while going as fast as possible and keeping the grain as clean as possible so all we gotta do is sit here and make sure nothing's going wrong. So you might think, oh wow, what an easy job. All you have to do is sit here and monitor. And for the most part, when things are going right, yeah, it can be, it can be easy. A relaxing one might even say. Uh, however, there's much more that goes into it than just sitting there. So right now we are cutting a new land. And that means that Man, how do I even describe this? We can't make it all the way through a pass without being full and overspilling. But the field is too big that we can't circle the wagon on the entire field so that the auger is always on the side for the grain cart to get. So you have to go part ways through the field and then wait until you're full, but not too full and somehow cut a little patch in so there's enough room for the grain cart to get in. Then you can put your auger out and unload and then continue cutting and making it through the rest of the field, leaving you with a section that is big enough that it'll last you a while and you don't have to cut a new land for a while, but small enough that it makes sense for the combine to drive in circles around it. Wow, I did not know my job was so complicated, but I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Here's our green car drivers. Drivers? I know, there's, there's, two, there's, two, there's there? two of them in there. Oh, <laughs> dad's out here supervising. <laughs> well, we can unload and then make it the rest of the way through the field. Maybe. Hopefully. It's good corn. Right now, we're in a John Deere S780 and we're running a 12 road chopping corn head. The key to a good grain cart driver is being able to read minds. For example, without saying over the radio, the grain cart operator should just know when to speed up and when to slow down. It's all about intuition. That's why it's very important that you be related to everyone you work with because then you just have nice. telepathy. Right? Isn't that how that works? I don't think so. But clearly this guy has the uh, favorite spot. <laughs> it also, auger wagon or auger cart? On this farm, it's auger wagon. Like, you pull a wagon. Grain cart. You push a shopping cart. Wow, this is a full one. This is not a cart full of augers. It's a cart full of grain. Careful now. That is a good point. Okay, that, that's... That's, that's pretty full, bud. There we go. Looking good. I rest my case. Grain cart. Wow, okay. Maybe it should be a grain wagon. A it's grain probably, wagon? That sounds like something from the 1800s, a so grain wagon. <laughs> we can just combine. It's not a wagon full of wagons. That's a good point. A grain wagon. still hasn't had cab corn officially he claims this year but I, I, I had like a little bit of splash but not like I have you know, not been here to verify that corn. so 100% like it's really full now he's got a little camera up there so he can see exactly how full he is oh, look, just, just in, time. in time no cab corn yet so I only found one piece of candy in the refrigerator and so we're gonna rock, paper, scissors for it. And we forgot our camera mount, so the you're best on got. the steering wheel. Ready? Ready? Uh, Two out of three? Well, we'll get to that part. Okay. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, two out of three. I'll give you two more chances. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, okay, that's a redo. We'll do a redo. Mm. Hey, I, I lost on that one. If you would have won. Okay. Rock, long, paper, two, scissors, scissors, shoot. Do thing. Okay, now let's do it. I just won. Okay, it's even now. The next one gets it, right? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got Laura driving a green one now. As driving as one does when <laughs> just, just sitting in there, look. <laughs> your feet don't even touch the ground. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. How do I unload? The the yellow button, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Uh oh. It's going down. I'm doing it. Tell me, how much better is this than a red one? Well, I think I'd probably have to run this for a few days before I can tell you if it's better or worse. Okay. I need some Initial time. Initial impressions. Um, 
noise level feels pretty similar. I do like the screen, very easy to read. I like that the percentage full you are isn't just zero and then 75. It's like I can see it going up each percent. I like that a lot. I think that's pretty new. Pretty new. Um, Are there any other particular features you like? Handle is comfortable. I like the curve. It has heated and air conditioned seats. That is very nice. Mm -hmm. And a refrigerator. So does this new case one though. And auto steer. The auto the auto steer is very nice. I will say. And there you have it, folks. We're rolling. How do the noises compare? Like the beepers. Um, you like a better or worse? There's a, well, there's a lot more beepers going on because there's the Odyssey and the Rose and stuff. They're kind of pleasant. Maybe a little loud, but they're nice little sounds. Yeah, so that's and it has Harley pegs. It does have Harley pegs. My feet are just a little <laughs> kind of reclined in the seat. It's actually Sunday, so we're not actually working. We're harvesting for fun. I don't I'm know having a good that, time. I don't know how that works. It's out. crazy. Like usually, whenever Laura and I are in the cab together, it's for fun occasions or it's dark out. So this is a fun occasion. This is a fun occasion. We get to work together. Yeah. I like doing that. We're still in the field, right next to the farm. So hauling to the inside is really. Popped out of the combine. And oh boy. Woo! And I was now we're uh, now we're grain haulers, truck drivers. Looking good, Grant. Wait, this isn't a combine. What are you doing? Combine. This is a weird looking combine. Mowing down some dirt. You look good. Thanks. I like your bike. It's nice. You just need a helmet to match. Your helmet's looking a little yeah, it's worse for wear. <laughs> so yeah, this is we're not in a combine right now. Or a tractor or in a truck. We're on our dirt bikes. So I've got a 2005 Yamaha TTR um, 230, and Grant has got a Yamaha YZ 450FX. We like our Yamahas. The only thing we like Honda is three-wheelers. Mm, three yeah, got a Yamaha four-wheeler too. We like our dirt bikes a lot. So most of the time we only get to go riding around here in the uh, flatlands in Nebraska. Look at that, a singular tree or in the pasture. But every once in a while we make it out of state somewhere fun to ride, like maybe South Dakota, Arkansas, Wyoming, hit some trails. I don't like fast riding very much. I like uh, scenic riding. I like seeing the flowers and the trees and the pretty rocks. Grant likes going fast. <laughs> Thing I can do, sorry. That's all I got. For you. No wheelies? No wheelies. Try to do a wheelie. Look at this. Ready? <laughs> Wrong.
long one. Oops. Pretty good for a Sunday, huh? Some fun harvesting, some fun activities. Yeah, it was a perfect Sunday. Enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next one.